He sang the virtues of the wild onion, of the wild asparagus, of the wild garlic, that toil not, neither do they spin, nor do they have pesticides sprayed upon them if they happily grow far enough away from agribusiness crops. <laughs> he knew the roadside medicines, the bark of the willow in respect of pains and fevers, the root of the dandelion as a diuretic in the shedding of excess fluid. He taught us not to waste, for even the lowly nettle so often wrenched up and thrown away is a source of many vitamins. He taught us to improvise, for if there is no sorrow, there may be cattails. And if there are no blueberries, the wild cranberry may perhaps abound. Saint Yule, may we sit with you in spirit at your table, that lowly tarpaulin spread upon the ground, and dine with you among wild, upon wild strawberries, and upon spring fiddleheads, and upon young milkweed pods, lightly simmered with a little butter substitute if it can be obtained. <laughs> and in the time of our greatest need, help us to accept whatever fate may bring us, and whisper into our inner and spiritual ears the names of the plants, and their seasons, and the locations in which they may be found. For the waterless flood is coming, in which all buying and selling will cease, and we will find ourselves thrown back upon our own resources in the midst of God's bounteous garden, which was your garden also. Let us sing. Shouldn't have the wasps that were driving me crazy eradicated. Did I tell you? 